Welcome. In a previous video I took a look at the SanDisk and Samsung High Endurance cards, and those were the 128GB models. And I'll put a link in the description to that video. And I'll also put a link to these cards on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I have two cards here. I have a SanDisk High Endurance 32GB card, and a Samsung Pro Endurance 32GB card. And I'm not going to go over every detail, I did a lot of that in the last video. These are the smaller version, these are a quarter of the size of the 128GB card I've already looked at. But I just wanted to take these and put them in my computer and run Blackmagic Speed Test on them and see if I get any interesting results from that. So long as I don't find anything wrong with these, I think these could be a good card for a Raspberry Pi. 32GB is plenty for a desktop machine for most people. So I'll unpackage these, I'll put them in my computer and start testing them. Okay, so I'm on my 2012 MacBook Pro here. I'll put in the first card, it's the Samsung. I'll go to the gear in Blackmagic Speed Test. I'll say select target drive. I'll choose no name. I'll hit open and I'll start the test. Okay, so we're seeing about 42 megabytes per second write speed and 89 megabytes per second read speed. The packaging says it has 30 megabytes per second write and 100 megabytes per second read. So the results I'm getting here in Blackmagic is that the write speed is 10 megabytes per second faster than the package and the read is 10 megabytes per second slower. This is similar performance as to what I got with the 128 gigabyte card. I'll eject this and I'll put the SanDisk card in. Okay, so we have some interesting results here. The write speed is 53 megabytes per second. The packaging said 40 megabytes per second, so it's 13 megabytes per second faster. And the read speed is just under 89 megabytes per second. So for read speed, these two cards were pretty similar. For write speed, the SanDisk goes quite a bit faster than the Samsung. So if you're looking for a card that you're going to be doing a lot of experimenting on and you're going to be rewriting the image many times over, I feel like the SanDisk card might be the better option because it has a faster write speed on it, and if you're writing images to it, you'll want that to be faster. Outside of that, I think either of these cards would be really good. With the Raspberry Pi 4, you can put a USB drive in it, or an SSD, and that is faster than using an SD card, but there's sometimes when you don't want that sticking out, and an SD card is the ideal solution. There's still going to be lots of instances where people are going to want to use a micro SD card as opposed to a flash driver SSD, and I think this is a really good choice for that. So I just wanted to make this quick video to check out the speed of these cards and see how they fare to the 128 and I'd say they're very similar. I know with larger SSDs they can be a lot faster than the smaller ones but I don't see a huge difference between these and the larger drives such that I would recommend one or the other based just on speed. I would get the 32 gig if that's enough storage for you and if you need more storage get the 128 or maybe even the 256 gigabyte cards. So again I'll put a link in the description of my previous video where I go over more details. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.